Derek's happy. Yep. Gen Con is over. He's not happy it's over, but he's not sad it's not over. You know what I mean? I don't know what I just said. Um, I'm sad because all of my friends, almost all of my friends have gone and all my friends are about to be gone. And that's just sad. Anyway, it is Monday after Gen Con. And as per tradition, it is mandatory that we visit our friends at, over at Pata Chow for um, breakfast. Hey, look who's there. Look at that beautiful boy. Hi, Nelly. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good. Get yourself Desmond, in. Desmond said that when we're back oh, home, God, we're going to oh, we're gonna play uh, Artemis and he's going to be engineering. <laughs> and he'll give me more shields, more weapons, no, more shields, more turn, and more warp. No, he's going to give more nukes. And I not, no nukes for Derek. It tastes like mowing the lawn. Yeah. What is it? What is the water is out? Dirt, 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 go. Oh, I think dirt tastes like I'm going to wash this out. Oh, flavored stuff. Buff, buff, buff. I mean, I like buff. It's a pizza from Zima's. This is what you say is super bad. He says it's buff. Buff, buff. Ready? Ready? Let's go. Do this. Wow, that was no reaction from anyone. It tastes more like orange soda than buffalo. It's just like spicy orange soda. Did you smell it first? I smelled Tom's and I don't recommend it. like vinegar washed your toes. Hey, you're hitting. You're insulting my culture. Alright, scary one. Okay? Alright. Ranch! Health, that's, that's to ranch! Somebody's health. <laughs> oh, oh, no. You can't breathe while drinking that bowl. That was bad. <laughs> hey, Tom! Yeah, Tom, since it was your idea, I think you have to. This goes up the Tom, since this was your idea, please enjoy Buffalo and Ranch. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, you can't. You cannot breathe. <laughs> that oh, it's, that it, here's the thing. It's better than and the ranch it's, alone. That is not it's, funny. It's, I, I, I love no pickle juice. Yeah, 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 I just don't remember the pickle soda being good. good. Yeah. All right. America's favorite. All right, pickle. To Gen Con. Gen Con. It's like yeah. old lukewarm pickle juice that's been carbonated. Yeah, it's yeah. just All right, yeah. everybody ready? I don't know. Five, Four, two, three. <laughs> One of these years, I am going to throw up. It's like light ranch. It's going to happen. Wow. This isn't that bad. It's like, what, what is it like? It's not that bad. It's like gross. It could be I didn't get any butter. It makes oh, Jonathan want to dance. Take a shot of all of them. <laughs> it's like two. Three. Oh, man. Oh, well, I hit you back. It's bad. That's going to stick around. That's the butter. Yeah, you, you try the butter all you want. One, two, three. Fruit punch. Wait a minute. That's not hard. 
Is that a joke? Is that not a joke? Hitler in him. This is like some seriously. Leave it to Derek to turn this into like a sexual event. First you're hazing right now. No, 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 trust us. You can trust us. No, it smells like Alright. Oh yeah, that's in the suit right there. It doesn't even taste like mustard, it just tastes terrible. He's like, give me more bars. <laughs> I, like, I knew it was one of them. That's the bar. It tastes like death. That's the Indy Sewer System right there. That is bad. That's the bar. 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 Magic Maze. Magic Maze Heist. No, Heat, I'm sorry. Heat. XCOM Spirit Island got XCOM, played. Spirit Island. A um, couple games of World Championship Russian Roulette. People kept opening the complicated games and putting them back. We played Shadowrun Encounters. Uh, I want to say there's a couple other things that happened too, but I can't recall what. That sounds fun. Mm -hmm. Whoop. 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 Do you, what did you just declare? Check out over. No. The after party is done. I weep. Don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. What are you getting? Uh, me. What would you like? Well, I'm gonna get one of those Bavarian cream ones, I think. Look, look, at, how, look at how delicious those are. Not the white fluff? The white fluff is probably also a really good choice. What's your name? I'm Tommy. Hi, nice to meet you, nice Tommy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you Very too. Nice to meet you. So what, what, what were you saying about her video before? Um, well, just people brought it up and uh, they were just like, yeah, she was showing Jax. And we were just like, really? And so we pulled up the video and there was two videos of us in there. I was like, wow. Do you want to tell cool. Do you want to tell people what this place is all about? Like your donuts and stuff? Or? Um, well, Jax is like since 1961. It was in Newcastle. We make our donuts here fresh every day, every morning. Um, and our donuts are very amazing. They're, they're huge amazing. too. Huh? They're massive. They're really massive. Yeah. You get your money's worth out of it for sure. Well, thank you. Can I ask what your favorite donut is? Ooh, my favorite donut is either the cinnamon sugar or the cronut. Well, no. I had a cronut. I had a cronut. Yes. It was delicious. Yes. Can I get one of the other ones that you said? The cinnamon, cinnamon one as well? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you heard it here first. Cronuts and cinnamon sugar. Yeah. We just got out of the movie theater. 
What did we see? Shabs and Haw. <laughs> How was it? Shabsy and Hawzy. Yeah. We saw a helicopter get taken down by a truck. Several, several trucks. Sequel. Several trucks. It, yeah, it did it leave an opening for a sequel. <laughs> Would you recommend it? And fireworks. Is this the best way to spend the last day this in Indy? This is the ideal movie to watch. When you the Monday work. after Gen Con yep. 2019. Yep. If That's you right. are absolutely drained, it is a good movie. That's right. You don't have to think too much. And I got to see cute boys. our second last day at uh, in Indy. Uh, I am officially still calling this Gen Con, by the way. We are presently watching um, Jaws 2. Classic. Uh, Derek and I are just hanging in the hotel rooms. It is 11 uh, 30 right now at night and uh, we had a fun day. We had we woke up early, packed up some of our stuff um, got set up for Guderstein Game Time. If you don't know what Guderstein Game Time is, it is a little event that Derek and I host after Gen Con for Gen Con volunteers. A lot of the staff doesn't get to uh, game at all at Gen Con. Actually, a lot of them work more than eight hours a day. So they just um, run around, they work all day, they just about squeeze in a, a, maybe a couple of hours over the week and or the, the show to get into the exhibit hall. So we like to throw a little event the day after Gen Con ends so on Monday where we just bring a bunch of games. Everybody brings all the games that they got throughout the show. Uh, I bring some nasty sodas. Um, we have all of our leftover food and snacks that everybody got for the show. And we just have a banquet of weird leftover snacks and leftovers and, uh, and games. And we just spend like several hours playing um, oh, before game time, we also go to Padachow, which you just saw. I highly recommend it. It's close to the Westin. It's between the Westin and the Hyatt, actually. And uh, the other tradition is that we go to Sugar Fire Barbecue, which is great. Um, I forgot to take a photo of the outside, but it was Sugar Fire Barbecue. And um, they're just, I don't know, what do you call that area? By the Arts Garden, I guess? So Sugar Fire is just by the Arts Garden. It's not a long walk at all. We don't go right in the middle of Gen Con because they run out of meat. They they get fresh meat. They smoke it right in the morning every single day. And they will have meat until it's gone. So during Gen Con, unless you go early in the day, there's probably not going to be anything left. I know for a fact that they ran out of meat a couple of days in a row. Um, so we like to go after Gen Con ends. So it's more quiet. And... Uh, <coughs> As you saw, we went to Jack's Donuts. It's one of my secret, um, secret top top hits that I have to go for every year. Gen Con, they have amazing donuts that they make themselves. They're huge. They're really affordable, and it's like a ten minute walk. It's wonderful. Um, Derek and I, I guess, over the year, have developed a, a top list of some things we have to do and see while we're in India every year. And uh, I guess Harry and Aziz, um, Steak Izzy style is Derek's thing, as is the horseradish um, shrimp cocktail that they have, uh, Jack's Donuts and Sugar Fire Barbecue are like top hits for us together. And then for me, I also like to do the, the I have my pre-game for Gen Con, so we like to do the Glow, glow Golf, we like to hit the arcade. Um, what else? Well, that tiki bar was really good, so I think that might might enter in part of our traditions. Uh, and after Gen Con, we like to see a movie if we can, something silly that isn't requiring a whole lot of thinking. And uh, we had a really good time. It's a really nice way to wind down and see like the empty convention center, see it, see it go back to the way it normally is. Gen Con had 70,000 people this year, pretty much, like just under, and almost 20,000 events. That is nuts. That's crazy. So seeing it go from an empty shell, explode into a place with 70,000 people back to a completely empty shell is surreal. Do you want to tell them that we got recognized in Jack's Donuts? 
Yep. You, uh, you're the famous one now. <laughs> I'm just some guy. I'm just the husband. I hold, I hold your bag. It was, it was lovely. He loves it, by the way. So, if you see Derek at future Gen Cons, I think if you mean if if you see Nelly's husband, he loves it. He loves telling the stories of meeting you guys to me later. Like. He gets such a kick out of it when you guys say hello to him and be like, oh, you're Nelly's husband. And then he gets to tell me the stories later. It's it's very amusing. Yay. What you thinking about? What you thinking about? Stuff. Jenka stuff. Oh, my God. Do that again. Jenka stuff. <laughs> He's so cute. I love him. So, Derek. Yep. How many roughly, like, full-time staff does Jenkon have year-round? Like 15. It's, so, it takes 15 staff, 12 months to put on a show like this. Yeah, about. Full time. Yeah. How does a cycle of work, a, a cycle of work throughout the year kind of ebb and flow? It really depends on the department, like sales and marketing. Tends what what to, do they do? Uh, like they sell the exhibit hall, they sell sponsorships, they sell program book ads, they sell banners, newsletters, all that kind of stuff. Um, they tend to get busy sooner than I do because they deal with you know the exhibit hall that's sold out by November, so you know they have to take applications and then they have to place all those. So you know their cycle. That's one of the the kind of challenges of work is that each department's kind of flow through the year is a little bit off. So sometimes it's hard to sync things up, and we got to work to. So it sales and marketing. Yep. You've got. Bigger departments are also dev, ops, mm -hmm. finance, and events, obviously, right? Yep. And ops, like, ops and finance kind of are a little bit different because they usually respond to what other people need. And then dev also just has to set really just long timelines. Not really. Dev just has to set really long timelines for developing apps and electronic ticketing and revising the website. So they have to kind of operate on multi-year timelines uh, in a lot of cases. And events? Uh, for events, you know, that's the one that I have the most insight on, obviously, and usually... Event team is how many people? It's four people now. We just hired somebody new. Um, so, you know, we have... It takes, what, like, probably two months, two, three months to completely wrap up the show. That's reconciling tickets, sending out uh, payments for that, uh, hotel reimbursements, badge reimbursements... Answering questions, problems, complaints, fo uh, following up on attendance data, stuff like that. And then, so that'll take us through September, October-ish. And then uh, we have to start planning budgets for the following year, so we just figure out what we're going to do that's going to be big or different. And then November, December is when we really start kind of laying the, the big pieces, like if we're going to do something big or different, or if something needs a lot more space, then we kind of talk through that. So that then in uh, January, February, March, that's when people submit events. We get contracts written. We try to nail things down. Um, April and May is when we get events reviewed and active for registration. June and July, uh, may, mainly June, is when we finalize floor plans, get locations squared away. And then July is, you know, when we make sure that we're try we've dealt with as many late events as we can, and then bam, we're back at Jetcon. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> totally easy. But it's for attendees, right? It is four days. Four days of gaming. That's it. And sure. it's interesting to get an insight as to uh, how much full time staff is being devoted to run something like that. I think when I tell people that that you do this full time, they're like, "Oh, well, what does he do?" And it's like, uh, even I was just shocked at how much work it takes all year round. And it's not only that, Derek. As you said, you since GenCon last year, streaming for GenCon has really taken off. Mm -hmm. So that's just one addict huge thing that was not a thing before that you now have to weave into your mm -hmm. workflow so you know the way people get con crud yeah. and they get sick after doing con because yeah. there's germs everywhere yeah. i think i get con depressed con Post blues mention depression yes pcd please don't let that be something weird also um how do and one of the ways that i think gen con can help is streaming 
So I'm kind of curious what people should check out for Gen Con coming up in the next indefinite period of time before new Gen Con and what those channels are called. So most of the stuff that we're going to do the rest of the year is going to be on Gen Con TV. So if you want to keep up with new stuff, that's where you want to pay attention. So twitch.tv slash Gen Con TV. Um, but there's also the video on demand from the convention itself this year. So if you can watch that at twitch.tv slash Gen Con TV, Gen Con Studio, or Gen Con Main Stage. And we'll have those videos kind of trimmed down and published on YouTube before too long as well. I think it's worth mentioning that video on demand, I guess, so Gen Con was streaming Gen Con live all of the four days. They were streaming the exhibitor hall. They were streaming um, companies showing off their games. They were streaming interviews and panels and all sorts of things live. And all those live things were recorded so that people who are sad can go and rewatch and re-experience Gen Con. And I was there. I was even on stream with Gen Con, and I didn't get to experience some of the things that the cameras saw. So for me, it'll be good to go back and relive Gen Con a little bit. It'll make my heart less sore. That's what I use your vlogs for, so that I don't have to remember what I did at a convention. You do? Yeah, you you basically are my memory for, what did we do at Gen Con 2017? I'll just look up the videos. Yeah, me too. I don't even remember what I did yesterday, honestly. I've never gone and watched my old videos, so I don't know what's in there. Well, you yell at me every time I play them and you hear your I'm voice. really sorry. I, I can't hear my voice back. It's just really weird. No, it's not. It's very weird. No. Anyway, we've babbled on for 16 minutes. And we're going to finish watching Jaws. Okay, we're going to wrap it up here. We love you. Uh, yes, I love you. <laughs> Bye. Good night. Remember to like and subscribe. It's your girl Nelly. Yeah, wah, 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 wah. Thank you. You're welcome.